Today we're here at the Baths of Diocletian. This is Museo Nazionale Romano, Museo delle Terme. And this is a location that's perfect for a new exhibition called Roads of Arabia. Roads of Arabia, the archaeological treasures of Saudi Arabia, is organized by the Saudi Tourism and National Heritage Commission. And what it does is introduce to the world the vast, rich heritage of Saudi Arabia over thousands and thousands of years. Through this exhibit that's traveling the world, you get insight into the rich tapestry of the heritage of Saudi Arabia. That we're really at the crossroads of civilizations that flourished over millennia. Ten thousand years ago, the environment in Saudi Arabia was radically different. It was much more humid, it was green, and you had the development of agriculture in the Neolithic period. And there's a great discovery of a series of animals represented in stone. And here you have a horse that dates back to 8,810 BCE. Tarot Island is a vast date palm oasis, and it became very rich and a very important center for trade, particularly with Persia. And one of the results of the flourishing of the Dilmun civilization are these chlorite vessels, beautifully rendered. In southern Arabia, there exists a tree that produces a resin, which became a very precious commodity in antiquity, frankincense. And then it became very important to control the caravan routes from southern Arabia up to the north, to the east, then going to Persia, all the way to China, and up to the north and to the west, going to the Mediterranean. And a lot of the civilizations that developed and flourished in Arabia controlled those caravan routes. One example, is Dadan, which is today's modern Alula. And this city became quite wealthy and developed a number of sanctuaries. And in those sanctuaries, they built colossal figures dedicating to their gods. Qayyar al Fal is another city along the caravan route that flourishes in the Greco-Roman period. And you see here many examples of the influence of the Greco-Roman civilizations. So you find a city that mixed with other cultures that it traded and exchanged with. You have bronze figures of Hercules and Harpocrates. You have frescoes decorating the residential quarter. The Nabataeans will control the caravan routes from the first century BCE to the first century CE. In the northern part of their kingdom, they have the capital city of Petra in modern-day Jordan. But 300 miles south, they created the city of Hegra, al Hirj, which is in modern Alula, Made and Saleh. And they surrounded their city with tombs. Almost 100 of them are carved right into the sandstone, rock-cut tombs that are beautiful and evoke the grandeur of the Nabataean civilization and then it's taken over 
by the Roman Empire in 106 under the Emperor Trajan. And this precious inscription from Hegra shows us the presence of Rome. This dates to the 170s CE. In these grand surroundings of the Baths of Diocletian, the exhibit focuses on the rise of Islam and the idea of pilgrimage. Now the grand caravan routes are being replaced by the presence of pilgrims going to Medina, going to Mecca. And you have many important artifacts that underline the presence of the pilgrims as they make their way through the Arabian Peninsula. Here you have 10th century tombstones outside of Mecca. And this impressive door is a dedication from the Ottoman Empire in the 17th century CE. And it once stood at the entrance to the interior of the Kaaba. The last room is dedicated to the Saudi state. And what you have is a display of the past 200 years of the richness of the craftsmanship and artistry of Saudi Arabia.